Tango 21 calling Stuart. Stuart, do you copy? Okay, then uh, let's try channel 26 again. Okay, uh, 26. 26 gone. Tango 21, electric man, do you copy? Is that channel all right for you? Yes, this, uh, this channel is fine, thank you. I've uh, put the deviation meter working. Oh, right. Was it, where we'd gone wrong on that? Hmm. I'm there enough touching the probe onto the, uh, the, um, the, uh, the soldered joint on the back of the antenna socket, and it, uh, it did give it a reading. And then, uh, obviously, with the, uh, the modulation, it's going up to, well, just to about two, so it's probably turned up a little bit, I suppose. Excellent. Well, you're coming through much better, and of course we uh, did improve the transmit on that. And I've, this is the, the base station out of the organ workshop, which I've been servicing. This is today's video, and I found that the receive needed a bit of alignment, and I've dropped the power on this because it was 5 watts, and it's now back down to 4. So it needed a service. It's 7 years since we last touched it, and I'm receiving you loud and clear the 8.8 .8 miles from your place to mine, over. I'm receiving you uh, well, the, uh, the audio sounds fine, and um, yeah, you've you been through uh, pretty, pretty, pretty well. Right, well, I'm just going to have a flip around, shall I? Stand by on here, uh, please. I'll just finish my video off, and then um, I'll come back to you. Okay, Richard, I'll see you in a short while. Roger. Okay, so what we have today, that was arranged with uh, Stuart, the electric man in Grantham, 8.8 .8 miles away. Oh, we'll just turn the. <laughs> just change the uh, channel. This is the York CBS eight six nine base station, and this is the one we actually use day to day in our church organ restoration workshop. I didn't choose it because it was the best set on the market or anything like that. It was something which came up on eBay at the right price at the right time about ten years ago, and. Uh, it got serviced at the time and it's never been touched since. So here we are. It's, that's a nice base station. I wanted a base station in there that was capable of running on 12 volts. You can plug 12 volts into the back. One of the reasons for that is we're in the middle of nowhere in Lincolnshire. We're 35 miles from the nearest city and I do get power outages from time to time. So I have emergency lighting and things like that. Um, it's just the inconvenience and most of the time it'll just be 30 seconds but um, if you've arrange to um, talk to somebody uh, about uh, work-wise, you know, you're coordinating um, tuning and maintenance and things like that, and this works fine for us on the CB, then if the power goes down, I need some kind of backup, and so we chose a model which has got 12 volts capability, which it has. This also has public address on it. If we switch the squelch to the uh, off position, it's left the meter on, the display out, we're now in public address mode. So we've got Tannoy speakers, and I can say, you know, member of staff to the nearest telephone. So that's another little thing which just has as a base station. You think, why well, would base station need PA? But when you're running, running a bit of a workshop, it's that Tannoy speaker kind of arrangement which is really useful. So it's a nice base station. It's a reliable base station. It's the Cybernet 134. So you've got on-off volume, squelch, and PA. Uh, you've got mic gain, which you're needing for the PA, to be honest. Um, that's the way it's adjusted. And then you've got a delta tune, um, it's in the centre off position, minus positive, high power at 4 watts, low power at 0.4 watts, you've got a headphone socket, and at the back you've got the PA speaker, the extension speaker socket, 12 volts input socket and the antenna. Um, transmit light, nice big meter, ordinary red display, and we'll have a quick flick round. Somebody chatting on 38. I'll probably demonstrate the Delta too. It makes, definitely makes a difference to some signals which are off frequency. One on a Roger. Wow, I'm to think what they're talking about. A 
And there you have it, that's the York CBS 869 base station from 1981.